Mmm, Lieutenant Brunch sugary cereal. Now with sour cream and onion flavoring? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, dude, what was that about? Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to. Try harder not to. Well, I, I can't help it. This thing pulls left like a single engine airplane. Pulls left like a single engine airplane? What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at a typical single engine airplane. We'll use a Cirrus SR22 here, for example, which we have an X-plane. If you look at this prop, this is a big six foot piece of metal that absorbs 310 horsepower by, well, spinning. And you can probably guess that as that prop spins, it's also going to make the air spin. And so in fact, the prop wash spirals around the airplane in this spinning, spiraling pattern. And as you can see, that spiraling air slams into the left side of the vertical stabilizer. It happens right here. Now, what do you think happens when the air slams into the left side of the vertical stabilizer? Well, if you think about it for just a second, I think you'll realize it's gonna push the tail off to the right. Well, when this spiraling flow pushes the tail off to the right, what do you think the nose of the airplane is gonna do? Boop! <laughs> it's clearly gonna cock off to the left. Now, I can hear some of you right now. You'll say, oh, well, the nose of the airplane won't actually go to the left because the nose wheel is steerable. <laughs> Not quite. In both the Cirrus SR-22 and many other single engine airplanes, the, the nose wheel, <laughs> it's not steerable at all. It is completely free castering, just like the front wheels of a shopping cart. Just like the front wheels of a shopping cart? Yeah, just like the front wheels of a shopping cart. So here we are in the Cirrus SR-22 in X-Plane 12. We'll get off the brakes, apply a little bit of power, and let's look at that nose gear up there. You can clearly see that it is freely castering as I add brakes on the left and right side of the airplane. So sure enough, that wheel casters, just like the front of a shopping cart. <laughs> no wonder the nose wants to go left whenever we slap some slipstream into the left side of the vertical stabilizer. All right, if we're having trouble visualizing that, let's go on ahead, switch to an external view, and I'm going to hit Command-M a bunch of times. Command-M until we get to streamlines. Oh, look at that. These are the exact streamlines I was telling you all about earlier. You can see how the propeller is getting that spiral slipstream going on, which is clearly impacting the left side of the vertical stab, which kicks the vertical stab off to the right, which makes the nose of the airplane come around to the left. And then, especially at low speed and high power settings, I really have to put in a lot of right rudder to compensate for that spiraling slipstream. That is what happens in the real airplane. And so, of course, that is exactly what happens in X-Plane. Question is, does X-Plane pull to the left? Too much and uh, well we're gonna try this in real airplane and we'll compare it to what we get in the sim but I'm not willing to let this airplane run off the runway for a YouTube video adding power all right to 300 four, okay that's it that's it folks that's it <laughs> our takeoff is about 1100 foot pounds of torque so that was almost no power just now. Sorry folks, I'm not doing any more than that. Three or four hundred foot pounds and you can see how she uh, goes off at the left side of the runway.